Hey, going back and stay out of sight. What for? Go now. Morning, sugar. Kai. So I pissed off some people when I hired you. But every sheriff that we've had. Seem to have misplaced two of my men. Including Morgan, ended up on Proctor's payroll. If any of my employees ever stepped out of line, hassled me in any way, I'd expect you to call me. So I needed an outsider. What I mean is, I wouldn't want you to take matters into your own hands. So you brought me in here to take down this one guy, this Proctor. Kai Proctor. He's not just one guy. But the man doesn't own, you run. There's not a criminal enterprise around here that doesn't start or end in his pockets. When he doesn't run, burns to the ground. You are? Lucas Hood, the new sheriff. Your father and I had a deal. If you thinking of stealing from Kai Proctor, you may as well take a bullet and put it in your head right now. Now, the smart <laughs> thing for you to do, no, the only thing for you to do is to honor that deal. I always had very good relations with your predecessors. Yeah, you bought them. You see, people here don't always approve of the way I go about things. Some people find my business practices a little aggressive. But from what I've seen since you got here, you're not very different from me in that regard, so... What puzzles me is why you seem to hold me in such contempt. I have no contempt for you. I wouldn't be bothering you if I didn't think you have a serious problem on your hands. I'm just not afraid of you. I think maybe you're not used to that. And I have a very complicated do you call yourself a businessman? You dress well, you speak well. You're a thug, Proctor. But you're still nothing but a petty thug. I'm a cop. You've been doing it so long, you're a criminal. You actually think it makes sense to show up here in the middle of the night and ask me why you can't own me? You're the first guy that bastard couldn't own. Like you own everyone else? And when you go down, and you will go down, no one's gonna miss you. You know what this is? You care too much about what people think of you. It's a lesson. You never achieve any power with it. In power. You're all brave, man. You go near my knees again, and it won't be cow's blood. Intimidating people you know won't fight back? It'll be the blood of your family. I'll give you 30 seconds to get back into your trucks and go. Every single one of them. I see. You are a criminal. You're a criminal. And a trespasser. I insist you leave Ireland. Or what? Do you know why they're afraid of me? Why is that? Because they should be. And maybe you should be too. You all live here because I choose to allow it. Not God, it's me! I allow it! And if I decide I don't want you here anymore, there's no God that will be able to protect you from me. Most people are happy with one psychopath after them. You really want two. Take my chances. Sheriff, you are not seriously considering handing Mr. Proctor over to that psychopath. Relax, Jackson. I'm sure the sheriff hasn't forgotten a night much like this one, where he would have died if not for my intervention. There's a man in town. He came here for me. Seems to me I'd be better off letting these men have what they came for. You're too smart for that. What's that? I guess you owe me one. Because I'll owe you one. The Amish girl, Rebecca. Did you fuck her? Well, what's that got to do with anything? She's my niece. Hi, Uncle Kai. Small fucking toes. Don't you think you're getting a little too old for this rebel streak of yours? Rich coming from you. Whatever you may think, my choices have cost me dearly. Yeah, you're really hurting. My mother lives just 10 miles away from me. I haven't seen or spoken to her in over 20 years. Mother. Hello, Kai. My father, when I run into him, won't even fucking look at me. My sister, your mother, denies I even exist. You can't begin to understand how alone I am. I've lost count of the people I heard. 
Still, I hurt people every day. You have no idea what that does to you inside. It's like a blade in your belly that has gradually scraped you raw. I'm not buying it, Uncle. You have everything you've ever wanted. You're free. Why don't you just admit that you like being bad? My father believed in an angry and vengeful God. One who punished transgression with pain. Did you realize I've been alone for many years? No one else can talk to me like that. For my entire adult life. You're the only person who isn't scared of me. I'll put that cross on my back as a challenge to his God. The only one. I failed you, Kai. I let the dogma of small-minded men determine your fate when I should have been protecting you. Your mother's taking a turn. The way any other mother in the world would have protected her young. And now I see you in here, and I know that we put you here. My son is dead. Your father and I. And I finished mourning him years ago. Your crimes. You live here. Whatever they may be. Because I allow it. Are my crimes. Not God. Me. Your dead son. I'll show you all what it feels like to be cast out. Cody didn't kill Rebecca. You. You killed her. I found this in your shed. What? You think I killed her? That's right. Why are you out of your fucking mind? I loved her. I would have died for her. Yeah, maybe you loved her a little too much. What? When you found out she was pregnant, you realized you couldn't control her again. So you took her down in that weird little dungeon of yours, and you butchered her. What are you talking about dungeon? You killed her. What the fuck are you talking about? You found out she was pregnant, and you killed her. No! No, I didn't! Everything I did. I didn't kill her. I did for you. 